This is Core Childhood Memory Unlocked. It's donut day. But first, juice. Yeah, one of everything, and then a drip coffee. Which one's your favorite? The berry one we just had is so good. You know, I think donuts are all about sharing. Let's face it, typically the person that shows up with a box of donuts is the most popular person in the room. It just shows that they care and that they're there for you. They want you to have a sweet treat for the day. The top nice. order is different. We're watching him open the new Marvel product. Black. Did you just make this holiday up or is this no, a holiday? Thing. You said you like maple bars, so I got you maple bars. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to end donut day by making my own donuts, right? That makes sense. I remember um, when I was a kid, there were these powdered donuts. You might have seen them before. These. These right here. These were the ones. My core memory of these little powdered donuts was walking to the convenience store with my grandma. Most nights we would walk to the convenience store and get our snacks, she'd get her cigarettes. And I remember these donuts, we would both just share one of those little roll packs of them. We'd both try to stick a whole one in our mouth. And it was always something that would make me laugh. I know it's a trashy thing. It's not a really fancy donut. It's a hostess snack or Little Debbie's. I don't know what it is, but that is my core memory of it. So I want to make a powdered donut. I was really close to my grandma. We would even FaceTime every day. Kind of sucks that I can't like call her or FaceTime her anymore because she had a stroke two years ago and it's not been the same since. So I'm trying to just hang on to all these good memories that I had with her, which pretty much all of them are good. Onto a less depressing subject. Let's make some donuts, huh? There's uh, some stuff in here from the last time I fried. Anyways, you guys guessed this. You guys asked me this question quite a bit. Um, I used one of these guys, a little strainer sieve situation. And what I can do is I can pour the oil out into another container, or if I'm feeling kind of lazy, like I'm feeling kind of lazy right now, I'm just gonna scoop it out. You can see all that sediment that comes off. I'll just, you know, scoop it out with my filter. And then right, that's it. That's how I can like keep the oil somewhat clean. Pretty much these things are just waiting. I'm just like waiting on this to get to 350 Fahrenheit. It's basically what making cooking videos is. You're just like standing around waiting all the time, unless you're like super organized. Like I know some people have like a prep crew. They got a video crew. They got the whole deal. Like me, it's just one man crew. So here I am just waiting.
this is core childhood memory unlocked. Like I said, my grandma and I would go grab her smokes, we'd get some of these powdered donuts. So it's a smoked powdered donut with a little lemon curd because I love lemon curd donuts right now. And yeah, it looks like it's gonna be delicious. I'm just gonna go all in with my hands. Oh my God.